In the Punica continent, the last area takes the name of Secret Forest. Inside it you can find 11 Mokoku seeds. For the first start from the bottom central tree port called Militia Camp. Inside the tree port area you have to check the central right cavity. Where you will find a lady that will speak to you once you will approach the entrance inside the building. Here you need to use the second cooking ingredient of the first cooking recipe called the Punica Gin. This action will give you a 9 minute buff that will allow you to enter inside the building. In the top right side of this room, in front of a Viopon rack, uh, you will find the first Mokoko seed. For the second is time to reach the central right location called the Forlorn Swarms. To be precise, in its first left area you have to check the upper cavity. Here you will find a river near a huge tree root. On the left shores you will be able to interact with the ground and collect the second Mokoko seed. That herd is still in the central right location called the Forlorn Swamps. This time though you have to check the area on the right side from the upper dark spot. Here you will find a solitary tree in the middle of a battlefield. Slightly to the right from it, uh, inside a bush, you will be able to find that herd Mokoko seed. For the force, uh, you need to check the bottom central passage connected with the last blue arrows. We need to check uh, in the top left corner of the central dark spot. Here you will find a field covered with yellow flowers. In front of the bottom group, you will be able to interact with the ground and collect the force Mokoko seed. For the fifth, it's time to reach the central left tree port called the Beast's Garden. In the tree port area, then, you have to check the top left corner. Here you will find another field of yellow flowers. From their location, proceed slightly to the bottom left, and in front of the lake, you will be able to find the fifth Mokoko seed. For the next three, you have to reach the blue arrows in the central left side of the map. You have to check the top left corner of the side area connected with the last blue arrows. In the middle of the Verhengen here, you will find the 6th Mokoko seed. While by checking the bottom left side of this area, you will notice an NPC that will speak to you once you will approach her. If your charisma is over 350, by exploring the area behind the NPC, you will be able to enter inside a secret location. Here you have to use the top right passage till the end, where you will find some red spheres and a statue slightly to the top right. Between them, you have to execute the Song of Harmony. As a result, both objects will be destroyed, revealing the 7th Mokoko seed on the left and the 8th on the right. For the 9th, it's time to reach the top left tree port called Ancient Ruins. From where then, use the upper blue arrows in order to reach the entrance in the dungeon and then check the area to the left. Here you will find a statue with the blue glowing eyes. To the bottom left from it, interacting with the ground, you'll be able to collect the 9th Mokoko seed. For the 10th, go back to the ancient ruins tree port in the top left side of the map, where you need to use the arrows in order to enter inside the bottom right area and check its top left dead end. Here you will find a vista, and slightly to the bottom right, there is also a group of 6 red monkey statue. In front of them, you need to execute the Song of Harmony. This action will move them away, allowing you to access the 10th Mokoko seed. For the 11th and the last one, you have to check the top right area called Altair of the Beast, where you have to check in the central cavity below the location name. Here you will find a rounded panoramic platform. In its upper side, you will be able to find the 11th Mokoko seed that now you can collect.